Once the Justice Society is introduced in the upcoming Black Adam movie, what's going to happen to them afterwards? I mean, it's a no-brainer that they'll probably get their own movie. If Black Adam is successful, the movie they're introduced in, DC's going to want to, you know, do more of what was in that movie. You know, not only Black Adam sequels, but a Justice Society movie, which I and I think every DC fan would like. No problem. Let's do the Justice Society. But what about the Justice League? You know, we would like the Justice League and the Justice Society to each coexist and be in their own movies, right? Their own franchises. But a scooper by the name of Mikey Sutton is saying that the Justice Society may serve as kind of like a Justice League stand-in or substitute in terms of, you know, having a big connected universe team up until Warner Brothers can get it right, you know? So DC can have their own Avengers-style team up. You know, they tried it with Justice League. That didn't work. <laughs> So it's like, let's try something else, you know, let's do another team up movie without the baggage of Justice League until we can get that right. So let's do the Justice, the Justice Society instead in the meantime, right? Basically, with no Justice League, as he's saying in this tweet, WB was left without an Avengers of their own. Um, and let's skip on down. He goes talking about he starts talking about the Snyder Cut, which is supposed to be rumored to release on HBO Max. The Snyder Cut of Justice League for HBO Max will be a final farewell to that polarizing era of DC films. Referring to, you know, the original Zack Snyder era of DC, where they did attempt, well, it was a connected universe, but one that didn't go over well with a lot of people. It was divisive. Some people loved it, other people didn't, which is the whole reason why the current slate of the DCEU is different from the Snyderverse. The Justice League will live on, yes, but not with many of those same actors although Jason Momoa and Gal Gadot are safe. However, what WB wants to do initially is spin off the Justice Society from Black Adam into their own movie if it succeeds, as they expect. The purpose of this is for WB to take another shot at a superhero team film without the baggage of Justice League. So there we have it. This is all rumor speculation, right? I mean, Dwayne Johnson has confirmed in an interview that the Justice Society will show up in his movie, but as I said before, what happens after that, you know, it's all rumors and speculation. I mean, it's a given, I think, that the, that the Justice Society would get their own movie if Black Adam was successful. But, you know, will they be seen as a Justice League type stand-in until the Justice League itself is ready to be done again, a reboot with, you know, a new Batman, maybe a new Superman and all that kind of stuff too? We shall see. I think it'd be cool if they did, in classic DC comics, they would have a lot of times the Justice League and the Justice Society would get together to fight crime together, right? That was a huge crossover event that would happen, you know, um, every now and then in the old, old DC comics. And they could do it again here. Talk about, you know, another super mega crossover. Not just the Justice Society or Justice League, but both of them together. Um, that would be great. Uh, maybe a Justice League versus Justice Society. And then they could, you know, eventually become friends and it's them working together. Um, that'd be awesome. But how do you feel about these Justice Society rumors? Um, do you believe them? And if you do believe them, do you like this idea? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.